After Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year, I thought that was going to be the end of Baldur's Gate 3 in the news cycle. However, thanks to Microsoft's incompetence, it's back. People are talking about it because there's been a big drama. I'm referring to an Xbox user who, after taking a few screenshots or taking a few short clips of his own game, so he was playing Baldur's Gate 3, he thought, I'm going to record this, save it for later. He actually got banned for 12 months, I believe it was. It says here 365 days just recording footage of his own single-player game. Now, I don't personally play on Xbox. I mainly play on PC. But given this concerns Microsoft, I think this relates to everyone. Just about everyone should have eyeballs on this because Microsoft own all the IPs. They're buying up everything. They own some very good RPG studios like Obsidian, in Exile, they obviously own Activision now, they own the Warcraft franchise. There's going to be a lot going on in the future that we might be interested in. And to see that they're banning their own users just for recording their own footage in their own single player game, that feels really dystopian. Now there is obviously a little bit more to this. So the footage itself, it was basically a sex scene in Baldur's Gate 3 and someone went ahead and recorded it. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, I don't record that stuff. I'm just playing the game. If I need nudity, I'm sure I can find that somewhere else on the internet. But this person is choosing to do that. And I don't think that they should be punished when it's their Xbox console. It's their game that they've paid money for. Come on, Xbox users. This isn't on Game Pass. You did have to buy the game. However, they should have the absolute freedom to do what they want with their own console. Now, they did actually get three strikes for this. So Xbox fanboys would be saying, oh, they were warned three times. It's their own fault. That is not really the case, though, because they recorded a few clips, it seems like, and then Microsoft just hit them with a strike for every every single clip at once. So they weren't even really warned. They were basically banned for a whole year without any prior warning. And Microsoft's reasoning would be that when you record a clip, there's some sort of Xbox feature where it uploads almost to like a, a social media within your Xbox console so other people might be able to see it. But I believe it does that by default. You're not choosing to share this with the world. This is Microsoft with one of their lame features. They're trying to sort of drive engagement, get people talking. So if you take a clip, it seems to share it with everyone, even though you didn't ask it to. But then it punishes the user for something that wasn't even really their fault. They just wanted to record footage of their own game and they're hit with the ban hammer. Thanks very much, Phil. Now, the good news is Larian Studios are not having this. They're not happy at all with Microsoft and they're making their voice heard. They're not shills. They're not coming out and going, oh, there's a problem of some sort involving Baldur's Gate 3. No one's at fault. We're going to get to the bottom of it. No, they are making their voice heard and they've had it up to here with Microsoft. There's already been so many issues. Larian wanted to release Baldur's Gate 3 day one on Xbox. Due to weird internal policies at Microsoft, it didn't happen. It's worth looking into if you didn't know about that. It just makes Xbox look stupid. But then there are all these save game issues and they harm Larian's reputation because save games are getting lost on Xbox. It's not Larian's fault. That sounds like Microsoft's fault. But the average gamer is just going to have a bad impression of Baldur's Gate 3, which is disappointing. So Microsoft, again, how many mistakes are they going to make? And this is the latest one, this whole issue with banning a user because of recording their gameplay. And what Larian have to say in this tweet, we've seen the reports that some players got banned or otherwise faced issues on Xbox having uploaded screenshots or videos of their gameplay content. We're in discussion with Microsoft and we're looking into it. Annoying and uncool. That pretty much sums up Xbox. It's totally uncool. You don't want to be seen playing on an Xbox. Let's be real. And further proving that Larian just don't care about Microsoft anymore. They've even posted a GIF as well. They probably just lost all patience with this company. Now, this was posted to an Xbox subreddit. And I thought, is there going to be fanboys here? There are. I'll show you some of that in a second. But at least most people are being sane. This person says... Every game on the platform has a rating. The Xbox service is aware of which game a clip is captured from, in this case, Baldur's Gate 3. Surely this clip should just be tagged with the relevant rating and general access restricted if the game has an adult mature rating. Makes complete sense. Baldur's Gate 3 contains adult content. That is no secret. 
So why is it that when a clip is captured from that game, it automatically goes out to the public like a Facebook dashboard, and then the user's getting banned, like it's their fault? This person says that as well. No one should be banned for uploading content from a legitimate game on the platform. They didn't just post a dick pic for everyone to see. They're just recording content from a video game that they paid money for, that Xbox gets a cut for, by the way. I believe it's 30%. Someone then says, Steam automatically hides the thumbnail of screenshots from mature games. Anyone who's on Steam knows there are a lot of mature games on there. Some of them look a little bit weird. Microsoft doesn't even have to think up a solution. One exists already. World's biggest software company, by the way, and, and that's simply true. Microsoft as a company, and especially Phil Spencer from Xbox, it all just feels like maybe that person at work who's nice to your face, but they're a total asshole behind your back. They play on this image of, hey, fellow kids, we're here, we care about games, but it is just so clear that the company itself, they are super pro-censorship and they basically want full control over their users. There was that controversy years ago where the Xbox One, I think the Kinect, the weird device that they had that was like the iToy on the PS2, it would actually record you 24-7. Even if the console was off, there was something weird like that. It was supposedly so, oh, we can pick up maybe what games you want to play, what you're doing. Yeah, because that's not dystopian at all all and it's not just Xbox Microsoft Windows as well I know there was talk about newer versions actually having commercials in them as well so you're just browsing on your desktop and you get friggin ads as well they will not stop and the company actually feels like a cult there were leaked emails from Phil Spencer and the Microsoft CEO a while ago and it is just blatantly clear Phil Spencer does not care about gamers. He does not even care about gaming. The only thing he cares about is Microsoft and doing his part to make Microsoft even more of a conglomerate. It, it's like a cult there. It just feels like people fail upwards as well. Phil is totally stupid, totally useless, and he was going to be Bobby Kotick's boss. Bobby has made billions of dollars for Activision, and, and sure, the guy's probably a total asshole, but surely he's a more competent executive than Phil. So it just feels weird, that situation of Phil being his boss. What does Phil ever done to make Xbox a success. Nothing. He had a good stage presence and people found him likable early on, but over the years he's just made bad, bad decisions and I think people can see through the fakeness now. Maybe Game Pass seems like a good deal, but down the track they are going to absolutely tighten the screws on the cost and it's just going to be shovelware games to keep the subscription pumping like Netflix, which has no good shows anymore. And you're not going to believe this because you would think most people would be negative to the idea of Microsoft banning you for simply using your console, using an in-game feature. But there are these shills who are blaming the user for this. And I will clarify that by banned, it basically means, I believe, that you can't do anything online with your Xbox console anymore. You can't sort of use online features in a game. You can't play anything online. It's basically what it means. So you're not locked out of games, but so many games have online features now, some of it's mandatory, that this would do a lot of damage to the paying customer's experience. But we've got this person here, an Xbox ambassador, some weird culty Xbox program at sounds like and it just turns people into total drones total suck-ups for microsoft and xbox and this person says about this issue if you want to record Baldur's gate 3 titties just turn off automatic uploads because xbox live is all ages and in the terms of service you agreed to it's against the rules to upload 18 plus adult material well why does the feature work for games that are 18 plus wouldn't it make sense that if you are playing a game with explicit material, which Xbox knows, by the way, it's not some tiny indie game either. It's super mainstream. Microsoft did a lot to get this on the platform. Why wouldn't you just disable the option if it's such a big concern? They go on to say settings, preferences, capture and share sharing instructions on how to do this. Set automatic uploads to the Xbox network to don't upload. Too fucking little, too late. The person has been banned for a year and now you're giving them these instructions. This is not the problem. It's not about the intuitiveness of the Xbox settings. It's the fact that you can just do something innocently and then Microsoft bans you. It's their own incompetence, their own bad service, and they try and blame the paying customer. It's ridiculous.
Now, rightly so, everyone is pretty much arguing with this more on this paid shill. It is actually hard to follow a conversation, though, because the moderators are trying to protect this Xbox ambassador and they're deleting comments, people who are being nasty to him. But someone does ask an innocent question. Whose responsibility is it to inform users? Referring to who's going to tell us that we have to go into these settings and turn stuff off so we don't get banned? What is this? And then the same guy says, It's the user's responsibility. No company on the planet takes users through every single setting in their product before they are allowed to use it. Take some personal responsibility. Are you serious? Are you ever going to take Xbox's cock out of your mouth for just one second? The user's just trying to play the game. Use features that Microsoft heavily push. Again, they want people to record clips because they put them online. It creates engagement. But then they punish you with basically no warning if it's something that they don't like. The same person then responds to this idiot and says the user is supposed to inform the user, so you're just meant to be able to read minds, read Microsoft's mind and know what you're meant to do so you don't get banned given they give you no warning. Do you read what you are writing or are you a really bad bot? Sadly, I think this person is real. It's this Xbox ambassador program which basically makes you an unpaid shill with a badge. It's kind of like being the milk monitor at school. You think you're really cool, you're going doing the milk, but everyone's just laughing at you behind your back. And the same person keeps going. It's literally the consumer's fault. You have the ability to disable uploads. How many times do people have to tell you you get banned by default? You barely get a warning, but you think that people are just going to go in and disable some setting to avoid this, it's ridiculous. And just to end on a positive note, we do have another ambassador here, but they at least seem to be a little bit more self-aware. Someone mentions that this stupid ambassador system, it's straight up problematic. The guy responds, the Xbox ambassador responds, it's a good idea, but there are way too many people who act like they work for Microsoft and get high and mighty. Lately, all I do in the program are the season quests and, and other garbage they have on the Xbox website. Who cares about doing that? Jesus Christ. But this whole thing's ridiculous. This person should probably remove the ambassador badge because it just makes them look embarrassing. Microsoft, they're an embarrassing company. I don't think they're good for the industry. I think over time, we are going to see that. Some people are thinking, oh, Microsoft are the good guys at the moment. They're doing Game Pass, good value for gamers. But I think over time, their behavior is just going to be more destructive for gamers. At least studios like Larian are pushing back on this. They're not going to be pushed around. Hopefully more studios do it, have integrity, and produce games like Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.